All right, guys, today in front of me from 13th Colony, we have their double oaked bourbon. So this bourbon was uniquely matured in separate charred oak barrels to extract soft and sweet oak flavors and was finished with toasted maple wood. So this bourbon is aged for over nine years, comes in at 135.3 proof, and the second release is planned for the fall of 2023. Does this live up to the hype, guys? Let's find out right now. So without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, so as I stated, this is aged for over nine years, comes in at 135.3 proof, and the color on this is just, it is motor oil dark. Let's get in the nose. So first two things I get on the nose on this one is almost a mixture of uh, brown sugar and coffee bean. It's very it's very sweet um, further into the glass, further away from the glass. There's this uh, like um, like milk chocolate uh, kind of vibe that starts to appear. They're almost like a uh, like a chocolate maltiness. But then uh, again, further into the glass, you start to pick up like this marshmallowed this marshmallowed sweetness. Again, there's definitely a little bit of cinnamon in there. Um, so like I said, there's some, some baking spices, some coffee, some kind of like milk chocolate. So outside of there being a nice kind of rich oak tannin on this one, it's again it's more on the sweeter side, but it's it's uh, kind of like that dense um, that dense oak. Um, that toastiness is starting to bring forth again some more of that marshmallow sweetness. But then uh, now further away from the glass, I do start to pick up like a little bit of tobacco, um, like tobacco leaf, a little bit further away. So it definitely, the nose definitely signifies that there is some age to this one. Um, outside of, you know, it being um, toasted, you still get a lot of those, um, again, a lot of that um, that oakiness. You still get some of those bourbon notes that come through, you know, that that caramel, that vanilla. Um, but again, there's, there's definitely some baking spices on it, some cinnamon. The coffee bean is definitely present. Further away, you pick up, um, again, some like, like a multi, like milk chocolate, and then a little bit of uh, like a tobacco leaf. Beautiful nose on this one. Let's get it, pal, guys. Cheers. That is ridiculous. That is so good. So, first impression, it um, I mean, it definitely drinks its proof. I, I would say maybe a little less that one thirty range, if you know, if you will. Um, it definitely packs a punch, though. Slight bit of like uh, some spiciness there across the middle of the palate. At first, it, it it dries you out for a second, but it's it's one of those that starts to kind of creep up and get your mouth kind of watery and and um. A little velvety there again. A little bit of that oiliness starts to come back. But again, I mean, it's it's so a lot of the the flavors that I got on the nose, a lot, a lot of those aromas, I'm picking up on the palate. Um, first sip was like right on the front of the palate was like that uh, almost like a s'mores um, outside of like the the, the graham cracker. Um, a lot of marshmallow, a lot of chocolate sweetness there on, on the front of the palate. Mid pal, like I said, I did get some of those, um, like some spice there. Um, not necessarily baking spice, but almost like like a uh, like a rye, like a spiciness from a rye. And then on the back of the palate, there's a it's like a hint of like like espresso, coffee bean, um, mixed with a little bit of like some cinnamon. Nice medium finish, I would say. Um, borderline on that on that long finish side. That. That was a great first sip. Great first sip. Let's get into the second one. Yeah. That is... That's a hitter. Oh, yeah. Again, front of the palate didn't change on that one. Milk chocolate. Marshmallow. Middle of the palate now, that, um, that, that proof and that, um, like that spiciness, almost like from a rye, um, faded away. And that's kind of where that that toasted oak, um, the oak tannins kind of sit right now is that that middle palate. But it started to it started to pull some of that chocolate from the front of the, the front of the palate, that sweetness, onto the middle of the palate. And then the back of the palate, it's it, it's again, it's there there's a slight hint of like like espresso, coffee bean, there's some cinnamon. And then 
I, I do pick up I, I don't really get any kind of like tobacco on this one, but it's almost like a um like a little like leather leathery note there. Kind of flows like all, all through all three of them together. You know, some of that cinnamon, some of the uh some of that leather, and then and that 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 espresso kind of coffee bean is just still kind of like lingering there, like right right at the back of the palate and then and like through the finish. You know, I don't get I don't get a lot of coffee notes on on too many things, but this, um, this is this is really really good. This is very good. Let's get a less up, guys. Cheers. Yeah, so it it stopped drying out my palate. I think it was just the first sip because again that that sweetness on the front is still there. Um, marshmallow, chocolate, almost kind of reminds me of a, of a s'mores outside that, like that graham cracker. Middle of the palate, again, those spices kind of died down, brings forth some of that, like that toasted oak and then tannins from just like an oak. And then it starts to pull some of that chocolate there, that sweetness into the middle of the palate. Yeah, on to the back of the palate, same thing. It really hasn't, um, it really hasn't changed or, or, uh, evolved that much, um, same, same kind of like three, um, three to four flavors there. Again, some of that cinnamon definitely gets some of that, uh, that coffee influence. And then again, that, uh, like, a, a little bit of like some leather there that, that just kind of lingers around. It's like those three that definitely that, that cinnamon, and that coffee are definitely there. Leather is just like a, a very, very faint, like leather note on the back of the palate, like right before it hits the finish. It gets it. It's there's like a slight dryness to like as it, it starts to finish, but the finish it, it's it's medium, like a, a a medium to long finish, and that leather note just like barely hangs on right back there. Man, I tell you, this is uh, this is a beautiful a beautiful bourbon. That sweetness that it offers and that that toasted. It's like that toasted oak note that you get that has like that kind of marshmallow sweetness, and then just your your basic kind of oak tannins. It's like that mixture um, on that middle of the palate, where like that that spiciness was on that first sip, and then after that, it just it just flows down into that that coffee espresso bean leather. Definitely some cinnamon kind of thrown in there as well. Um, this is a a beautifully crafted bourbon here from Thirteenth Colony. So I want to thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. I want to send a big thank you over to the team at 13th Colony for supplying me with the sample here to review on the channel. Guys, this bourbon lives up to every single bit of the hype. Um, it is it is a beautiful whiskey. Again, it, it stay consistent with its flavor profile, getting that sweetness, and then some of that oakiness on the mid palate, and then you know going back to that that kind of cinnamon, um, leather, and then uh, coffee bean espresso note on, on the back end. Um, again, packs a, a a nice punch as far as proof. Um, again, nice kind of like oiliness that kind of you know um, after like the second and third sip, it, it, it really kind of just like left that coating around the palate. First sip was a little, a little um, you know, hit you a little hard, dried you out. But again, that second and third sip kind of brought all of it back. Um, just, just an outstanding whiskey here from, from 13 colony guys. Um, this is highly recommended, highly recommended that you find a bottle of this. Um, if you still, if you still can, if not, they do again. They have that second release coming in in the fall of 2023. That I think, uh, if it's anything like this, you're you're gonna want it, no matter what. Buy one. If you can find one now, buy one. It is. Uh, if you if you find one, buy two. It's a. Uh, it is definitely a a bunker worthy bottle. It is absolutely fantastic. Definitely lives up to all the hype. Guys, if you're looking for more reviews like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button, bell notification to be alerted of any upcoming reviews or live streams. You also find me on Instagram at Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. Until next time, guys, say Dusty.